So over the weekend, some Netflix Witcher news that shook the world to its very core was released. Henry Cavill, the show's leading actor, is leaving the role of Geralt after the already filmed season three and will be replaced moving forward by Liam Hemsworth, who of course is most well known for his cameo in season one, episode three of the 2015 Muppet series. However, the replacement for Henry is really just a footnote to this story right now, which I think says a lot about the real reaction most fans are having to all of this. Henry announced his departure over on Instagram and ended his post with a line I think is important. He said, I pass the torch with reverence for the time spent embodying Geralt and with enthusiasm to see Liam's take on this most fascinating and nuanced of men. The key word there is nuance, a core element of Geralt's character and the world of The Witcher, and unfortunately a concept the Netflix show is totally unfamiliar with. While no official reason has been publicly given for his departure, it is known that Henry made this decision because he felt like it was time to move on. And more importantly, anyone that's even been sort of paying attention can piece together why this happened, and honestly, it's sad for more reasons than one. Going into the very first season before the script had even been written, Henry Cavill campaigned for this role because of his love for the series and this character. When watching interviews and press for the show over the past few years, Henry's genuine enthusiasm for the source material has always been clear as day, and equally obvious have been his frustrations with the writing of the show he's been starring in for the past three years. He's always kept it professional, of course, but he can only do so much, and it was not even a year ago where Henry very publicly said that he is committed to doing the planned seven seasons of the Netflix Witcher on one condition, that condition being that the writers can manage to tell great stories while honoring the source material this show is apparently meant to be based on. Now, when this news dropped on Saturday, the reaction I saw almost everywhere was total shock, with much of that shock coming from devastated fans. If I'm being honest, my reaction was kind of the opposite. I was not particularly surprised. There were rumors of this over a year ago that people kind of ignored because they didn't like it. And after season two, I really struggled to see Henry sticking around for the long haul. And when I saw the headline this Saturday, my first thought towards Henry's decision was, good for you. There was also the news that many of you have probably already heard. Henry will be stepping back into the role of Superman in a major way in the future, but don't kid yourself. He wouldn't have left a role he campaigned so hard for if this show weren't the fantasy equivalent of Dexter season eight. It's not hard to put the pieces together of what really happened here when you compare the absolute travesty that was season two with the genuine reverence Henry has for the books. Despite the straw man arguments I see all the time, Netflix Witcher has never ever been a situation where you have an on-screen adaptation of a book series that changes some necessary things when moving from the page to screen. No, this has always been, from day one but especially with season two, a situation where you have a great core story with nuanced characters and a room of writers who think they can do better. It was just a couple of weeks ago when a former writer from the Netflix Witcher team said in an interview that some of the writer's room, I would guess most, actively disliked the books and would take to mocking them constantly. That shouldn't come as a surprise considering what season two was, but I find it sort of embarrassing when you look at the final product. I always get the impression that a lot of people that aren't familiar with the books think it's an exaggeration when it's said that season two was not really even an adaptation, but that is just the truth. Objectively speaking, no opinion here, Apart from character and location names, 90 plus percent of the second season had absolutely nothing to do with the book it was marketed as adapting. And the real crime there, and this part is an opinion of course, is that absolutely everything they replaced was done so with something drastically worse. In no way did they make any improvements to what they thought they could do better then. Bringing that concept back around to Henry, I just can't imagine having that real strong desire and sense of responsibility to tell these stories the way they deserve to be told, and then having to show up on set every day watching these beloved characters get butchered. It's just such a shame because with proper writing, Henry as Geralt could have been a casting for the ages, meaning something that could be looked back upon for years and years. It was pretty perfect, especially when you consider the passion involved on his end. And there has always been an element of frustration for me, watching Henry give the role his all in service of writing that makes Peppa Pig look deep and profound. I hate to be so blunt because I don't like being negative. There's a reason that for season two I made one short review and that was that. No follow-ups because I had no desire to put any more energy into something I did not enjoy. That said, it is so frustrating as a Witcher fan to watch this show chew up and spit out one of the only good things about it. There's no resentment towards Henry here and there shouldn't be from anyone. Season two had already taken the show to a point I felt was beyond saving without some sort of miracle in the writer's room. It completely destroyed several core relationships that are foundational to the rest of the story. And that's why I'm not acting like the show is only now in trouble because of his departure. The writing is and always has been the problem and Henry Cavill there as Geralt or not, no actor is going to be able to overcome what the cast of The Witcher have been working with. 
I have seen absolutely no hate towards Cavill for his choice, which in my opinion is the proper stance. Yes, he's the one that left the show, but his hand was forced. He's a very in-demand actor, why would he want to commit another half decade of his career to this? That's not even to mention that I wouldn't at all be surprised if Netflix didn't want to pay what he's worth to the show, because contracts were up for renegotiations for season 4. I will say, you gotta wonder what this decision says about the upcoming season with Henry, which is season 3. Is it just more of the same? Because if so, that's already enough to totally understand the choice, but if it's somehow worse, then I'm honestly gonna be somewhat impressed in a sort of cynical way. This Witcher show could have, should have been the next Game of Thrones, a real cultural fantasy phenomenon, but now us fans, at least the ones that don't particularly like the show, are just stuck waiting for the next attempt. Barring a divine miracle in the writer's room the likes of which have never been seen, then better luck next time, I guess. Well, that is it for today. Thank you, by the way, for 50,000 subscribers. The channel turned a year old this month, and we also hit 50k last week, which is pretty cool. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like as it helps to get my content out there. Thanks for watching, let me know what you make of all of this, and I will see you in the next one.